the North Carolina Biotechnology Center has been in existence for over 25 years now. And there's 525 biotechnology companies in the state of North Carolina who have all been doing research for 25 years. So it's about time now for things to be coming out of laboratories to be able to be commercialized. And you'll need facilities like this to eventually commercialize because most of the things they're looking at are not crops like corn and soybeans where the, where the corn or the soybean is the end product. They're looking at trying to get active chemicals out of these particular of, uh, plants. Uh, and so you're going to need vast acres to be able to grow it. But more importantly, you're probably going to need niche acres. They're going to be specialty crops, like we do at Clary Sage, where we're up close to 10,000 acres. You're going to start out with five acres or something, 10 acres or something, and eventually you're going to grow it to 1,000 acres and 2,000 acres and 3,000 acres, as the demand for that particular product does. It'll take small plants like this, all dotted across eastern North Carolina, providing jobs for 25 to 50 people. And the idea of we're going to bring somebody in here and have 500 people working at one time it's probably pretty remote and probably never going to happen. But there is a possibility we'll be able, through the cooperation with the land-grant universities at NC State and, and East Carolina and the eastern part of the state, Elizabeth City State over in Elizabeth City, we'll be able to take products out of their research labs, private companies out of the research labs, and move it through the system. And that's what the vision is for the state of North Carolina as far as growing economic development in our part of the world.